Hi guys, welcome back to my modern homestead. I'm Janet. For those of you who are new here, for those of you who are new here, this camera, I think once I turn it on, it absolutely ties my tongue. I don't know. Anyway, I want to welcome you back because maybe you guys are really super great at big projects and you don't get overwhelmed and you're great at organizing. I know my friend Morgan is. She can just rip through something in no time, but you guys, I'm not that person. I don't know. I think I've narrowed it down to the fact that if I have a big project, I have to think it through, think it through, think it through, because once I do something big, I want it done. I don't want to have to go back and keep redoing it and keep redoing it and keep redoing it. That gives me a headache just thinking about it. But my pantry, oh, I just, I've gotten to where I don't even, don't even like to walk through it. And I've got to do something with it. And I walked in there today to put up one thing. And before you know it, I was organizing everything. And I said, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be doing a video for this. So I wasn't prepared to do a video, but let me go ahead and show you what I've done so far. I need to put the brakes on right there for just a second, guys. This is the pantry before, but I need to stop here because I need to show you the grocery hauls because they're the whole reason I'm having, well, not the whole reason, but part of the reason I'm redoing the pantry. Let's go. Today, because I told Morgan I would, I am doing my grocery haul that we just picked up. Most of, a lot of this, I won't say most of this, a lot of this is for my husband, for him to take with him. And I've got other projects, but let's just go ahead and jump in and get started. Let's start here. We have three packs of tuna creations, lemon pepper and one herb garlic, and three packs of spam. Those go with my husband on the road. And here we have four bell peppers, one can of Spam for the house, and one jar of dried beef. This is actually for next Christmas, and just in case I can't find it because the stores are crazy. And then I have one pack of bologna, one pack of roasted oven turkey breast, two packs of deli ham, a bag of apples, I have five lemons, and I have a ridiculous amount of bacon because I want to can bacon. All of this is for canning. There are five packs there, but this pack is for something special for Valentine's Day. And here we have a bag of frozen spinach. I want to try to dehydrate this. We have cilantro and I have four bags of fine green beans. It actually takes two bag, bags per meal for that. So I bought one to have one meal and one to have in the freezer. Then I have two bags of cut okra, two bags of whole okra, and two bags of broccoli florets. This is also for holidays, the cream corn. I do that, do four all together, two white, two yellow, in the crock pot with butter on holidays. Then we have sausage, one hot, one regular. Oh my stars, y'all, and this coffee. <laughs> feel like we go through coffee like it's water sometimes. So I've got two big things of coffee and then a ridiculous amount of those. <laughs> Who has four sweet potato pies? Who does that? Uh, evidently we do since my husband's discovered he likes them. I don't like them. Those are totally his. One for now and we'll put the rest in the freezer and he has to have Cool Whip with those. So Let's come back here. We have a big bag of mandarin oranges. I did not know this bag was this big, but that's fine. That's fine. We like it. And then I have two things of vegetable shortening because I want to do a project with these. I don't know if I want to tell you because I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but that's for a project. 
and then a can of the Better Than Beef Bouillon, one thing of Greek yogurts, plain, fat-free, thing of Doritos, a thing of sprouted whole grain bread, a thing of sourdough, a gallon of milk. I wanted a half a gallon, but they didn't have it, so they gave me the whole gallon for the same price, and it is organic whole milk. And then um, the Kerrygold butter, and we go through butter like crazy, so I've got three things of this. And this goes with my husband. This is just his fish oil, magnesium citrate, and some pistachios. And then we have our mayonnaise. Dale sauce, because we're always wanting Dale sauce. We, we never have it when we need it. thing of clip bars. A thing of crackers. More toilet paper. I've got some coffee filters. And I went ahead and picked up another set of these and a two and a half gallon bowl for storage so i think that is it well there you go morgan did it meet your expectations you guys thank you so much y'all know how i feel about the grocery hauls they're not my thing it feels a little i don't know it feels a little personal to me i don't know but anyway i don't enjoy them but i know so many of you out there in youtube land do so this is definitely for you not for me because this is out of my comfort zone <laughs> Hey everybody! Okay, so I'm home with my second haul. And you guys, the next few hauls are just going to be pantry restocks. So I just thought I would show you just good things to keep on hand, just to have around, so that you're not always going to the grocery store. And as I use these things, I, my intention is to replace them. I don't always, Jake, I don't always get that done, but I said today was the day. So let's start here. I have four four pound packs of spaghetti. And right now, guys, prices are going up on things. And at my store, the pasta is still the same price as it used to be. Now, at the local store at the Piggly Wiggly, prices have already gone up on the pasta. So I found these at a great price and I went ahead and picked them up. So if you want to go ahead and do that too, um, got elbow pastas three pounds of those and then I got four pounds of the shells and oops I just knocked off some salt old-fashioned grits I like the old-fashioned better than regular grits but I can't find them anywhere so I found these at our store I'm sorry it's lunchtime and people are walking around making noise um okay let's try this again now the grits for whatever reason, I'm having a hard time finding old-fashioned grits. But I found these at Walmart, and I grabbed them. I grabbed six of the one-pound containers. And then oatmeal. I love keeping a lot of oatmeal on hand. I've always done that. And again, while pasta is still cheap, I grabbed four um, twins of twin packs of the Suddenly Salad. This is one of our favorites. We love to mix a can of chicken with with that and have it for lunch a couple of days and then here just restocked on my salt <laughs> and I had ordered I tried to order a big thing of cumin can't find the big thing so I had to get little cumins because I'm out of my chili seasoning and my taco seasoning and that's kind of important for those things so I had to get a lot of those and I still don't know if that's enough I may need to order some more from Amazon because I did find it in bulk on Amazon. Then I got canning salt because I have none of that left and soon it will be gardening seasoning season. So, did I say the cayenne pepper? Got that because that's also in my chili and taco seasoning. And look guys, I am finally finding these in a good supply in the stores. It is my goal to never have less than six packs of lids of both sizes. So I got a few of those and these are just some meats I picked up to have they're not to restock the pantry and then I went ahead and got some of these to put on my jars after they're open so you don't have to keep the ring on them and look this is something I'm really excited about butter you can still find butter pretty cheap right now and so I am going to can butter I'm so excited to try this. I can't wait. I will show you that in a future video. And then just another pack of paper towels. 
that coffee got to keep that coffee on hand just like everything else i heard the price is really going to go up on coffee so i want to make sure i could get a good stock of that while it's still cheap and my guys love these i try to talk them out of them but they're the red bulls so i got them a few of those last few times i tried i couldn't find those but i found them this time and then some brown sugar to replace i didn't realize i was out of brown sugar so i had to replace that and for Alyssa and i when we're trying not to do sugar i found my favorite swerve so i got one bag of that because that's expensive and that's not a must but it's just a treat so you guys i was really excited i can't wait to get this in the pantry and i need to get this cold stuff in the refrigerator but i hope you guys are having a great day and i hope you're able to buy little bits and pieces just to keep on hand because guys i've told you i'm not a prepper but i do believe in being prepared even Joseph in the Bible, he saved a whole nation because he was prepared. And you guys know, my husband's a truck driver. We're self-employed. If we don't work, especially my husband, if he doesn't work, we don't eat. So you never know if there's going to be an accident, if he gets sick, something tears up with the truck. It's very important for us to have food on hand so that we're not hungry. So anyways, you guys, you never know. Weather, whatever may happen, keep at least a month's supply on hand. So anyway, love you guys. I'll see you at the next haul or the next canning video or whatever project we decide to do here on the homestead. Love you guys. Thank you. Well, you didn't have to wait too long. I'm back. Okay, let's pick up where we just left off with the pantry. I've got to get this organized, you guys. Woo. We've got to do something about all that. Let's get this thing done. Okay, so this is what... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. If you think this is bad, you should have seen it before. But this is what I was working on. And I was trying to group stuff together and... <sighs> oh. You guys, I just absolutely get overwhelmed and shut down. As if that's not a big enough problem, I have this. <laughs> now, I did not have the buckets up there but i had to take them down to reorganize that to get the meat slicer <laughs> this is why i get overwhelmed to get the meat slicer off of these shelves to put up there and then i had to get these down in order to do that i had to reorganize the egg crates egg cartons whatever those things are so you can see the mess here and this is what i'm trying to do i'm trying to have bulk supplies of my sugars and my flowers and I'm trying to get them off of this table because this is my work table. And as you can see, this is a permanent home for my food meal. But how my Frencher and my apple core got up there, mm, your guess is as good as mine. Hey, hey, hey. And then down here we have everybody's shoes and toilet. Why is the toilet paper in the floor? I don't know because somebody set it there. Nobody ever picked it up. I'm sure y'all don't have that problem. Yes. But anyway, I've got, my dehydrator is still on my counter, but that's its home. I have a little bit of room up there with my pressure cooker. You guys, can't one of y'all just come to my house and fix it? <laughs> it absolutely overwhelms me. So I think what I'm going to start doing is putting all of those into some of these. I actually bought two and a half gallon size bowl and some more bowls that are that size and this right here I'm struggling because it's just little odds and ends of fabric and craft stuff I don't necessarily want to get rid of it because you know how those things are you're like oh, I don't need it now but down the road you know I could have a project I might need something that's in there and eventually I am going to have a craft room to put this stuff so and that sewing stuff over there I've got a sewing machine up there <laughs> for whatever reason there is a sewing machine in my floor oh you guys I have a problem I have a problem I feel like a hoarder at this point and this is driving me insane let's get this thing organized okay guys I started I'm so ADD guys 
I tried last night. I had to stop and get supper ready, but as I was trying to just walk away from the pantry, I looked to my right going back to the kitchen, and I saw a couple things I could do, and anyway, let me just tell you, I did a few things. I didn't get it on camera. First of all, I have moved all the flour, all the pantry stuff off of this table, all my bulk stuff. It's in the kitchen. I'll show you in just a minute. But I also cleared off so echoey in here. Those shelves, I, I ended up keeping my craft stuff. I put it in my closet. I may take those and put them in my closet. Also, I'm not quite sure. My steamer behind here, that's the steamer back there for my juicer, like grapes and whatnot. I'm going to move it to the top of one of these shelves. I'm not quite sure just yet. I'll get to it. But anyway, I want to show you what I'm doing, what I've done so far, and what I'm going to do. Let's go to the kitchen. All right, so pardon my groceries. If you have seen my grocery haul, I'm getting to that because that goes in the empty shelves for now. So I took all of my flowers and sugar. I'm supposed to have another sugar somewhere. I don't know. But anyway, I moved them all to here and organized them to see exactly what I had. And what I need to use the big bowls for the most. My plan is to get at least four more big bowls, but until then, I'm just going to have to make do. And that's what you do, guys. You just do a little bit at a time until you get things organized the way you like them, and then you don't ever have to do it again. I keep telling myself that. So what I'm going to do now is just pour out the flowers into the bowls so that they will stack nice and neat. Now, guys, this is very, very, very important. Before you even start pouring your flowers, mark your bowl. If you don't have labels, use a permanent marker, semi-permanent tape, something just so you remember. Because I guarantee if you're like me, you're going to forget. <laughs> You'll say you remember, and before you even make it to the next bowl, you forgot what you put in this bowl. <laughs> don't ask how I know that. Anyway, so let's get busy. I stopped right here to put the flower bags into this Walmart bag because these can be recycled. We're going to use these as fire starters. That way we're keeping them out of the, land, out of the landfills and they're serving a great purpose for us.
there we go they are all done did you see that i almost forgot to write on there what it was almost didn't get that lid on but there was just enough room in the bowl all righty guys let's talk about what we've done so far i knew this was going to take a long time that's why i keep putting it off but it's got to get done I am going to have to take a break and do payroll, but let me go through what I've done so far. Look, I'm so excited. I'm probably more excited about this than anything. I got my steamer off of this shelf, and I made a home simply by turning the meat slicer around. Good gracious, guys. Why didn't I do that to begin with? I don't know. But it's done now. And look, I never have to worry about my stem getting bent or broken off. Again, it's done. I'm so excited. And in order to put that there, I had to move my vacuum sealer up there with my pressure cooker. And that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Um, Let's go down here and talk. <laughs> I've got to do something with all this stuff. It's going to get there, guys. I'm going to show you. I am going to get this thing done. You're going to be so shocked. Now just watch. Don't doubt me. All right. Now, again, why didn't I do this before? I don't know. I just didn't, guys. I don't have good sense, I reckon. I took my roaster, my electric roaster, and just turned it. That opened up space for my water. I got my jar scooted over. Now, our big goal for some time this year is to actually close in our garage and make an office because our little business is growing out of the little corner in our living room. And when we do that, my plan is to have some shelves and a little closet out there to store my empty jars because they're driving me crazy. And that will also be more storage for canning. But anyway, back to what we're doing here. There's my jars. I just got them organized. And I moved my sewing stuff down. I just compacted it, got it together, and I cleaned these shelves off. There are my lovely little bowls. My plan is to add more, but guys, this is a just do it when you can process. Do as much as you can when you can. So you can just watch me grow and I hope you grow right along with me. Um, I also have some stuff stored in the jars. Where are they? They're right there. So I just tried to put light things together so that it's neater and looks more organized now i've still got to get my stuff from the hall done today but before i do that i have got to tackle that oh my goodness who needs that many dish towels now let me explain let me explain let me explain i also have a blog which i've not done much with since i started youtube i need to get back to it but even with youtube i like to have nice towels when i can and take pictures and I have a lot of seasonal towels and yes I actually use them for the seasons but I think it's time guys I think it's time to do something I don't know what we're gonna do but I need to go through them reorganize them get rid of some there is a little bit of sewing stuff in that red bucket and that white bucket right beside it I need to just get rid of that I'm <sighs> Oh me. I don't know. Either put it in my craft totes or just get rid of it. I'll just have to see what it is. I don't know. I know there is some stuff to throw away. But this white basket here, it has some... It's food stuff, but it's more Trim Healthy Mama stuff. I mean, it's stuff everybody would use, but I like to keep it there so I can put my hands on it quickly for Trim Healthy Mama. I also have some Trim Healthy Mama stuff there. Uh, that's for another day. I don't even know if I'm going to get done with this today. Let's face it, guys. Probably not. This will probably be three, four, five day video. I don't know. It'll get done. Because you can already see we're making progress. I've still got to put up the shoes. And finish cleaning this area up. And when I get that done, I will feel like I have done something. So, we'll be back. Ooh, okay, you guys. I'm seeing light at the end of this tunnel. Oh, my goodness. Now, I just finished payroll, and while I was doing that, Alyssa took down all the baskets from this shelf, 
and she organized my towels. Nope, I didn't go through them. Not today. But she organized them, made them look a lot neater, put them in the red tote. So now all I have to do is go through the other baskets. This is it, guys. This is all that's left for today. I can do this. would get it done and I did. Now granted I did not get to this table today. It is late. I need to get supper going. But you guys look. I watch a YouTuber. Her name is Marina. She always says get the daggone thing done. Well you guys I got the daggone thing done today. We did it. I feel like I can live again. I'm so excited. I might just sleep in here. All right. That's it, guys. Now, tomorrow we have some canning to get done. So I'll be recording those for future videos. And hopefully, in between waiting on the canner, we can tackle our table. But I'm so excited that we got this much done. Thank you for joining me. I love you guys. Mm -hmm. I love it when y'all come spend time with me. I hope you come back if you like the video. Don't forget to like it down at the bottom and subscribe. Share it, comment, whatever you would like to do. You don't even have to do any of it. Just come back next time. Thank you guys. Love you. See you next time. May you be blessed.